Hello everyone, welcome back. Today uh, is the sixth video in our GRE quantitative uh, topic review series and we'll be doing algebra. Okay, uh, so algebra is the math where you have to deal with alphabets. So, so something like 3a square b, let's say. Uh, this is known as an algebraic expression. You don't really need to know that, but uh, it's a good piece of information. Um, so what this expression has is two variables. You have this a variable, which is being squared, and you have this b variable, right? So what can we do with this? Oh, well, I can tell you that a is equal to 3 and b is equal to 4. Well, then you can plug in these values for a and b. So a is 3, and I squared that. b is 4, and I just can multiply these, so I have basically 9 times 3 which is 27 and then 27 times 4 is 108 okay so you have an algebraic expression if you know the values of these variables you can plug them in you can then find the value of the expression um, you can have more than one term in this algebraic expression so let's say along with this 3a square b term i can have maybe an a b term a times b maybe i can have a term with just a or I can have a term with where b is cubed. So you can have many of these terms together. All right. Let's look at when can we, how can we add and subtract these expressions? So subtraction and addition of algebraic expressions. So let's suppose I have 3a plus a. That's a simple addition. It just says that I have three a's and I'm adding one a to it. So I should have four a's at the end. Simple enough. Similarly, if I have let's say three a b, and I'm adding five a b to it, again, I have these like terms a a b a b on both sides of my plus. So I can just add the coefficient in front of these a b. So these numbers are called coefficient. Uh, so I have three here, five here. So that's just eight a b. So this is simple, but it doesn't work when your variables have different powers or if they're different. So let's say I have 3a and I'm trying to add a squared to it. Well, I can't do anything here. So this is the best I can do. I cannot add two things which have different variables. So I have a here, I have a squared here. I cannot do anything here. Similarly, if I had 3a and I try to add a b to it, well, I can't do much with it. These two things cannot be added. Right? Let's do an example. So how about we try adding these two quantities or these two expressions so i have 5x squared 10x plus 10x minus 7 that's my fourth expression and i want to add this with another expression which is 3x squared minus 4x plus 2. all right so this is very simple what you do is you you pick your like term so i have here an x squared term i have here an x squared term there's a 5 in front of this x squared term, there's a 3 in front of this x squared. So 5 and 3 is 8. I have 8 of these x squared terms. Simple enough. So I'm taking care of the of the x squared terms. Let's look at the x terms. I have 10x here, negative 4x here. So 10 minus 4 is 6. So I'm left with positive 6x. Lastly, I have the constant term, which is just if you add any numbers. So negative 7 plus 2 will give me negative 9. So here's what you have, the sum of the two expressions given to you. Simple enough, just add the like terms. Okay, let's look at how to multiply terms. So next we'll look at multiplying algebraic expressions. All right. So let's say we have 3ab and that's being times by a b so this is uh, similar to the exponent rules you know when bases are same the powers are added first of all though you have to take care of the constant i have a three here and here is just one if, if there's nothing there's no coefficient no constant in front you can just say it's one so three times one will just give me three then i have one a here one a here so remember the exponent rules when bases are same and your multiplying powers are added. So I'll basically have two a's, which is a squared. Similarly with b, which will give me b squared, right? 
Let's look at another example. 2xy times by y. Okay. In this case, only y is the thing that's being multiplied. So this will just give me 2xy squared. Nothing happens with 2nx because there are no 2nx. There's no x term, then there's only one constant, 2. Let's look at another example. 5xy squared times by 2x. Right here, the constant, we have a 5, and then another constant, 2. These two are being multiplied. You get 5 times 2, 10. There's 1x here, which is power of 1. There's another x with power of 1. When base is a thing, powers are added. I'll get x squared. Okay? y squared just stays as y squared. Right? Simple enough? Okay. Let's look at the scenario where you multiply a single term. So let's say we have a squared by something which has two terms. So let's say a minus b. In this case, what happens is that first you multiply your outside thing by the first thing in the bracket. So a squared times a, which will give you a cubed, and then you multiply this outside term with the second term in this a squared times negative b, which will give me negative a squared b. Okay, so one at a time, that's how you do it. Let's look at another example of this. Um, let's say we have y cubed times xy minus y. All right, so first y cubed, this is a three here, y cubed times xy will give me x times y to the fourth minus, and then y cubed times y will give me negative, since it's a negative, so I'll have to keep a negative, and y to the fourth, okay? All right, let's look at another example where you have two bracket terms. So, so let's say we have a plus 4 and a minus 3 okay so in this case the way to go about it is, is you do the similar thing so first we'll go we'll take this a we'll multiply the a by a here so I'll get a squared and then I'll take this a and multiply it by the second term in the second bracket which has a negative which is negative 3 so I'll get negative 3a I do the same process with 4, with the positive 4. I take the positive 4, multiply the first term in the second bracket, which will give me positive 4a. You have to be careful with the signs, okay? Then I take the positive 4, I multiply the second term in the second bracket. So that's negative 3. 4 times negative 3 will give me negative 12. Signs are important, okay? Now, if you see, I can... I can add these two terms, right? They both have a, they're like terms. So I can add them and get 1a. So a squared plus a minus 12. Negative 3a plus 4a will give me positive a. All right, so this is how you multiply two, two uh, expressions which have more than one term in there, okay? And this can be expanded to multiple terms in there.